today we're reviewing the Anastasia, the Anastasia, Anastasia, how do we say her name? It's new to me, but the girls have been loving it. I've been seeing it make its rounds across the different apps and I'm intrigued. We're trying out the ABH Beauty Balm. It does say it's a serum boosted skin tint and this is the size. I'm not gonna lie, it is quite small. I'm not really sure how much product you get in, so let me just open it up. And I did pick this up in the shade 15. This is what she looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen it already. I'm not a big fan of the white plastic because I just feel like it can get really dry really quickly. Just pop it open. We have the plastic at the top. I'm just gonna pop that out if I can. And that is the shade I got, and that's the shade 15. It does have this like rolly thing, which kind of reminds me of like a deodorant. I don't get it. And I guess you're meant to roll up the product. Is that product? Oh yeah, it is them. Okay. Uh, let's just see how much we get. This is as far as it goes, and I actually think that's quite a lot of product for a skin tint. I mean, the price point, I believe this is around £40, so it is kind of up there. So, I'm happy with the amount of product you get. That is how 15 looks. Now, looking at it, I feel like it looks too dark, like I probably should have got shade up. My hand is significantly lighter than my face, so sometimes I get a bit scared. But no, it actually looks pretty good, so... I'm excited to try it out. We're just gonna go straight into it. So for primer today, I'm just gonna use my Fenty. I'm literally in the hour. I need to get a new, a new um bottle. I actually love this. This is the Hydrating Soft Silk Pro Filter um, Primer, and it's so lovely. Do you really like this? Let's get this hair out the way. Don't want to put too much because it does say it's like a serum boosted skin tint. So I'm guessing it's going to have a little bit of hydration in there. So it's the first of its kind tinted solid serum boosted formula providing sheer to light coverage for a glowy skin. Packed with eight skin loving ingredients. It delivers a natural finish and serious care. I know this right. I feel like it's going to be slightly dark but let's just see. Let's just see. All we can do is see, you know. So I'm just going to do a little swatch here. Guys, I didn't think I was gonna get the same effect as the girls. I was thinking it's gonna be a little bit dark. We're gonna work with it. Do you guys think that's good? Let's try it upside. I think you can see here it's slightly dark, but it's pretty much. Let's do the forehead. The forehead. The forehead will tell us if it's, you know. Oh yeah. Oh yes, this is literally like, I actually am shook. I thought everyone else was just lucky, like they got a shade and it worked. Honey, this looks good, what? I'm gonna do one more swipe. I'm gonna use a brush, this is my ELF Fluffing Foundation Brush, just because my other brush is dirty at the minute, but I feel this would be the best kind of like way to like blend this in. But this, the, the shade match? I literally thought everyone else was just lucky like oh they got the perfect match like okay fine this is literally why didn't I buy this early in the summer I love this are you kidding where was yeah okay that's all I have to say about that. Where was I when they was promoting this? I, I wish I had this in the beginning of summer. Like even when I went on holiday, this would have been perfect for daytime because I feel like it gives your skin some coverage. Not too much, it's very much sheer to light. Like they did not lie. I don't feel like this is something you can really build up. It's very sheer. Like it gives you a little bit of coverage and it just gives your skin a bit of a boost. Guys, remember when ABH eyeshadow palettes were like the thing to have? Like if you if you had an ABH eyeshadow palette, you were a makeup girly. Do you guys remember the modern renaissance? What? I remember getting this palette and I literally saved my money because I was like, listen, this is expensive. This modern renaissance, everybody had it. It was like the IG palette to have. I still have her. She's still in pretty good condition. And then the second palette is the Jackie Aina ABH collab palette. Such a gorgeous palette. Like this palette was amazing. This was when like years ago when we didn't really have palettes that really like got colors really nicely for dark skin. And this was like one of my first palettes. Probably have like a few more like packed away somewhere just for memories, but these two were like my favorite ABH palettes I ever owned. I'm actually gonna use my Jackie palette today and 
I know she's old, but it's powder and I feel like it's fine. Okay, so I just put my primer on and now I'm gonna get into some quick eyeshadow. You guys feel free to skip this if you want. I'm gonna go into this shade here, my favorite shade in this palette and probably dip into this a little bit as well, just to give a little, you know, tone it down a bit. And we're gonna blend that into our crease. Just kind of adding that brown. I think I'm gonna do something fun today because I feel like a lot of my looks have been like real simple, demure, real demure, real cutesy. <laughs> so we're gonna go in with Big Wig, which is this really gorgeous matte purple. And I think I'm gonna put that on my eyelids. I'm gonna do a little pop of that on the eyes. I'm just gonna blend out any of like the harsh lines. I'm gonna go back in with edges and credit. Same two shades we started with. So for concealer today, we're gonna to use our ABH Magic Touch Concealer. I have the shade 18. This was something, again, I was kinda of late to the party with, but when I tell you guys, this concealer is so good. Like, I, for me, in my collection, it kind of replaced my Too Faced concealer. It's just like a no frills. Like, if you want a high coverage concealer that's gonna look good and flawless, you can just pick this up and know you're ready to go. Um, so I absolutely love this. And it took me a while to actually finally buy it, and I'm really happy I did it's actually become one of my favorites and then my Too Faced one as much as I really like my Too Faced it's just not the shade that I like for bronzer this baby right here held me down okay before this I didn't really have that many like really good cream bronzers I had the NARS um cream bronzer which was really really nice but i was always looking for like a more red toned warm bronzer i found that a lot of the cream bronzer that i had used before this one were just kind of giving contour and it's like i don't want contour i want bronze i want warmth i want to look sunkissed that's how i want to look and when i purchased this i said oh perfect perfect chef's kiss love it um so yeah this is literally one of my favorite cream bronzers of all time lately i've been using a lot of my curve case because you know that was the new thing that i got and i've been just using so much of it but um this as far as a bronzer like a standalone product this is actually my favorite cream bronzer i own i'm just gonna apply it where i need to and i love the texture of it too i feel like it's a cream bronzer but it's not too creamy as far as like sliding across the face like it has a bit of like a to it i don't know how to explain it but you know i mean look at this concealer like flawless coverage shade everything is just giving something different i'm using my e elf <laughs> plumping gloss in cosmo rose it's like a really like bright pink like a milky pink use some of my fenty calm it down a little bit okay so quick wrap up review of the beauty bar because that's really why we're here i think it's really good like off first impressions very very nice i was shook off <laughs> at the shade match i felt like everyone else's shade match was just like lucky like they got their shade but the fact that it matched me so well i'm very happy with that especially as the skin tint um for me i do love a good foundation for my full coverage days or if i'm like going out and i want the face to be top tier for what everyday like makeup look i think this is the perfect like skin tint i really like it i don't know if i'm being biased because it's summertime but i genuinely really love how lightweight it is i do have quite a few skin tints in my collection now and i feel like this is the lightest skin tint i have um i do have the fenty eavesdrop which is like a skin tint stick type of thing i feel like that one's a little bit thicker than this one i won't lie and i even felt like that was super light at the time but now i've used this one i'm like this is definitely giving skin like this is definitely like a, more of a veil than it is like a um 
like you feel like something going on i also enjoy the experience of putting it on the fact that you just kind of do like that boom, 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 boom it's easy to put on and i feel like it's super easy to blend too you don't really need like a proper brush like you could do it with your fingers you could do it with a sponge it's really nice to have something in my collection that i know is light coverage and that i can go to especially for hot days like today oh it's been so hot in london and just general in summer on holiday on vacation you just want a little some some this is nice and you're not gonna feel like you're sweating and that like you're, you just want to take all your makeup off i felt like i had light skin tints before this is literally so light so yeah my first impressions i really really do like this it is quite expensive i'm not gonna lie for like 43 pounds is not cheap i wish i had this early in the summer but it's okay i've got it now so we can use it but yeah i really do like this if you guys have this let me know what do you guys think what kind of shade did you get i think this is the second to last shade so i definitely feel like could add a few more shades in there we could add a few more shades in there so yeah that wraps up the end of today's review hopefully you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give a nice thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i will see you guys in my next one